When you have a Thor Motor Coach diesel motorhome, Palazzo, Aria, Venetian, or Tuscany, you are in for a wonderful trip. From the Atlas Foundation to the luxurious amenities, you know you are in a motorhome crafted around your lifestyle. But the driving experience is made even better with DriveTech from Freightliner. The digital dash is designed to keep your eyes on the road and you in control. Just press this button to fire it up. Once the dash illuminates and comes to life, accessing vitals, stats, and features is easy and only a few button clicks away. Walking through the display, front and center, your speed, and you can see your parking brake is set. On the left, your tachometer. Inside the tach is your gear shift and shift mode. These are your fuel and coolant gauges, along with a reminder to use ultra-low sulfur diesel only. Here is the air PSI, which is mirrored on the right side next to your speedometer. Below, you have your oil pressure gauge and your DEF tank level. There's a little display for your battery volts and odometer. Up top are icons you need when you connect your phone for hands-free calling, signal strength, battery, and Bluetooth, and we're gonna show you how to connect in just a few minutes. In the middle is your menu display, which you can customize using the steering wheel controls on the left side with the up and down arrows and the OK button. You also have a home button, a back arrow, and this button that looks like pages is how you bring up your menu options. The plus and minus buttons are volume controls. Let's dive into those menus. You have access to two trip meters. On top of showing miles passed, you can quickly and easily see how much time has elapsed how many gallons of fuel you've used, fuel economy, average speed, and how many hours you've sat at idle. A quick tap of the OK button resets all the info for your next adventure. By selecting gauges, a trio of info boxes pops up. In this configuration, we see your gear, transmission temp, and boost gauges, but say you want to see something different. You can do that. By using the up and down arrow buttons, you can choose to display any three items in any order. Highlight the item you want to change, then use the up and down arrows to display another info box. Here, we now have engine load. This is distance to empty. Show your RPMs or oil pressure. You can even display the barometric pressure. Maybe you want to put your gear selection in the middle. Set this up however you want. This is a great way to keep an eye on what you think is the most important. Tap the back button and scroll down to the next item and you can see the current fuel economy. Next down the list is vehicle configuration and there are a number of options here. Topping the list is Bluetooth. If you want to pair a device, hit OK. On your phone, look for OPTIVW and connect to this. Now select pair device. Once it connects, the name displays here. You can connect multiple devices, but you need to pair them one at a time. Device priority allows you to choose what phone you want the system to answer when a call comes in. We'll show you how to handle your phone calls in just a minute here. Disconnecting a device from the system is as easy as scrolling to the remove a device and ditching the one you no longer want connected. Dash brightness is easy to figure out. Up for brighter, down for dimmer. New fob pairing is what you want if you get a new remote key fob. You would select this option and hit OK to pair your new key. Quick note, if the coach is not starting, simply press the push button start with the key fob to connect the two. Scrolling one down on the menu and we have your units, standard or metric. If you'd like to reset at all, simply reset to default. Moving on to the diagnostic tab, the system is gonna search for you and in the event a fault is found, it will be displayed here. You have an internal diagnostic section as well that lays out a number of features and if they are working or on or off. There are three pages full of items you can easily keep track of. The transmission prognostics page shows you the oil level, life of the filter, and percentage of oil life remaining. Finally, under system info, you see the version, date, and status of the DriveTech software. Let's take a tour of the stock on the right. This is your gear shifter. Swivel up for drive, neutral is in the middle, and reverse is a quick dial down. You can see on the digital dash what gear you are in. If you want manual gear selection, push the stalk towards the dash and a little M will appear on the display. Pull the lever toward you to shift gears. When you go past fifth, you return to auto, or you can press the stalk in to return to auto. To 
to set your engine brake, pull the stalk down once for low, twice for medium, and three times for high. Staying on the same stalk, to switch between economy and performance mode, press and hold this button on the end. We showed you how the steering wheel controls on the left work for your menu, so let's move to the controls on the right. This is for your Bluetooth. When a call comes in, simply press the phone icon to answer. The speaker with the line mutes your call, and you press down here to hang up. This button is your marker light interrupter control. Your cruise control settings are here and easy to use. You have on and off, cancel, resume, and set. So go ahead and get the dash dialed in for your next adventure. Because when you have drive tech in your Thor Motor Coach, you know it's going to be an unforgettable time.